Hey everybody, Northwood Janky here, born and raised in the north. I've decided to do my channel based on everyday things that I do, uh, normal life for me. So give me some time, uh, this is not a full-time job for me like it is for some people. I put my stuff up and make my recordings uh, as time allows. Um, things I'll be doing and things you'll be seeing if it interests you is we're going to be swinging chainsaws, doing radio stuff, uh, jarring and canning, home repairs, welding, tractor work, uh, vehicle repairs, running sawmills, and a wide variety of things. Um, that's just what we do up here. So if these things interest you, check things out, follow me, and uh, hit subscribe, hit that like button, drop comments, feel free to ask questions. So with that, take it easy. Hey everybody. So something I've been noticing on my channel through the analytics part of it. I don't have a lot of subscribers, probably never will. Don't have a huge following, probably never will. That's fine. Just trying to be helpful to people with good information. Um, I wrote down a few notes here. And I've noticed this trend through the fall and into the winter. And out of the videos that I have up so far, the ones that are getting the most views are pertaining to heat, which is interesting. So out of all views for everything, 80% are in the U.S., 1.2 are in Canada, and then there's a little smidgen in Ireland. So most are U.S. stateside. So I'm going to throw some numbers out. These aren't anything to brag about. They're not huge numbers. I mean, some people will do these amount of views in one or two minutes or an hour, whatever. Fine, good for them. But in relation to some of the other videos that I have that after sitting out there for whatever, five or six months, and they have four, six, ten hits, um, these ones, the numbers are higher. And they've been consistently staying that way. So here's what we got. I sat on the couch and talked about pellet stoves versus wood stoves, pros and cons of, yeah, pellet stoves are nice, they work great, but then you're stuck buying wood pellets. Well, what happens when you can't find wood pellets? Um, in this area, they've been rationed before. You can get a bag a day, you can get two bags a day, and then you're driving around everywhere, making phone calls, trying to find wood pellets for your stove to keep yourself warm. Well, if you've got firewood, you've got heat, right? So that video has 66. Just on a simple comparison. Um, the wood boiler that I got back in 2006, one of the original central boiler wood boilers. Um, kind of outlined how that works. Heating two buildings with it. Heating domestic water in two buildings with it. So I can shut off the water heater, not burning propane. Um, right now, that is at 1590 Okay. That by far is... The number one video that's going that far surpasses anything okay so that pertains with heat just like the wood stove and pellet stoves right the next one in the line um, my dad and me mounted a propane heater on a wall had to cut a hole through a wall put on a vinyl siding adapter kit run pipe through the wall mount the heater all up and that one is at 496. 
okay, like I said, not big numbers, nothing to brag about, but we're surpassing other videos by far. It has to do with heat. Um, next one up. Stood out in the driveway one day on a nice day and talked about getting your own propane tank, buying your own tank, and the pros of that. How you can save money on price per gallon. How you can have anybody fill it. That one is at 131 at the moment. Propane. Pertains to heat. Cooking. The next one in line is we set up a 500 gallon propane tank. Bought it brand new. It was an empty tank, nothing in it. And I transported it because I didn't need a hazmat endorsement to do it being empty. And my dad and me, we set the tank all up, leveled it, had it ready to be filled. That's a 76. Again, it's propane, it's heat, it's cooking. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, those are the top five videos. I think I've got about two dozen of them up right now. Like I say in the intro, this is not a full time gig for me. I'm not making money on this. I do it as time allows, and I pick away at it. So, out of what I have now, those are the top. So what's that indicating to me as we're rolling into winter and you just watch the news, watch social media and all the crap going on? People are researching heat in the U.S. Um, <laughs> that's my analysis on it. I might be completely wrong, but the numbers being such a wide margin in comparison to some of the other videos, that's what I'm thinking. People are worrying and wondering about heat and fuel. I don't have anything up talking about gasoline or fuel oil. It's just about propane, and that's what's getting hit on. Um, now, propane, you know, is great because it'll last forever. I mean, literally just about friggin' forever. You can store it. You can move it. Um, there's, there's no shelf life. It's bulk. You can get the one-pound Coleman tanks, which I just read on uh, somebody's page yesterday. Somebody in the Northeast saw that a six-pack, like almost overnight gone from $14. For six of them tanks up to 28 bucks, doubled in price. You can get the one pounders, you can get the 20 pounders, you can get 40 pounders, you can get the 100 pounders, and it's upwards from there. Um, I talked about that in Buy Your Own Propane Tank video, so I don't really need to harp on it here. And set it and forget it. And as long as the gas stays in the tank, you'll have a leak. 20 years later, you hook that tank up, it's not like gasoline. It's, it's not going to go bad. Uh, recently, I talked with the dealer who sells the central boilers in this area, and they've been selling like crazy. People are shifting to wood. Why? How come people are going to wood? Wood's a pain in the ass to deal with. I admit it. I deal with it. You got to have a place to get it. You gotta cut it, you gotta haul it, you gotta split it, you gotta stack it, you gotta keep it dry. Um, it's a pain. Sure, you can buy it from somebody who does all that for you, and it costs money, but then at least you're looking at your supply instead of hoping somebody can bring it on a truck. It's 
it's looking like people are thinking heat is going to be a problem. So that's just some food for thought and something to think about.